Acts 1 and 8. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Ruach HaKadosh is come upon you, and ye shall be witness unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Now, the reason why I came to this portion is to show you the beginning of the book of Acts is showing you that the Mashiach showed himself to the disciples and ascended back to the Most High, right? So that means he's no longer on the scene. So let's see what the believers, after he had already been gone, we're talking about 20, 30 years after he's gone, what were they doing? Were they keeping Sunday? Were they saying the law is no longer being kept? Or done away or nailed to the cross? Let's see. Acts 13 and 42. <clears throat> Acts 13 and 42. Mm -hmm. And when the Israelites were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. Sunday. Sabbath. Read. Now when the congregation was broken up, many of the Israelites and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who speaking to them persuaded them to continue in the grace of the Most High. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the words of the Most High. Read that again. Now when the congregation was brought up, Many of the Israelites and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of the Most High. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the words of the Most High. You see that? So this is, the, this is Israel and those Gentile converts that was hearing the word of the Mashiach. They was hearing the word being taught by the apostles, and they met on the Sabbath day. And when they was hearing this good news, they said, brother, we coming back next week on what? The Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day. So we're talking about 20 to 30 years after the Mashiach is gone. They still keeping the Sabbath day. So where in the world did this first day thing, this Sunday thing come from? You want to enlighten the people on that? Uh, Constantine. Basically, sun worship been going on. From way, way back, but it was instituted basically when Constantine the Great came on the scene. He had this this fake dream of this cross thing and all of this madness. So this is how it really came into play. The, the uh, what is it? The Nicene. The Nicene Creed. Creed. The Edict of Milan. But we'll deal with that in a second. Fact of the matter is. Let's get another example because a lot of our people that's within Christianity and a lot of our people in general, they want to say, well, Paul said this and Paul said that. But let's see Paul's stance on keeping the Sabbath day. Let's go to Acts 17 and 2. Showing you that the Shabbat is to be kept all the way till today. As Exodus 31 says, it's a sign for the children of Israel forever. And what do the law say in regards to the children of Israel and the strangers? They have to have one law, one manner of life. Read. Acts 17 and 2. Mm -hmm. And Paul, as his manner was, and Paul, as his manner or as his custom was, read, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days... How, how many Sabbaths? Three Sabbath days reason with them out of the scriptures. You see that sort of... The, <laughs> Shaul, a.k.a. Paul, the one that they like to blame and say, well, he, he teach lawlessness and all this other mess. He, you know, said we don't have to keep the law. We're under grace and all this. He kept the Sabbath day. So if you are honestly reading these scriptures, you're going to see a direct contradiction Versus what these people are teaching us in this religious world. You got something you want to add? No. Okay. Let's go to the prophets. Let's go to Daniel 7 and 25 real quick. The book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 25. Because it was a prophecy concerning 
this last Roman beast and what they would do in regards to the Most High's laws and commandments. <clears throat> Daniel 7, Daniel 7 and 25. Daniel 7 and 25. Mm -hmm. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. You know what I'm saying? This is the representation of this Roman beast. And believe me, we're going to read a couple of their quotations. They speak great words against the Most High as if they the Most High them him, themselves. Read on. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And ain't we been wore out by these people? They have wore out the true children of Israel greatly. That's a whole nother discussion. Though. Read on. And to think to change times. To change what? Change times and, and laws. And laws. You see that? So it was prophesied that these Romans would think to change times and laws. And when it comes down to the Sabbath day, there's dealing with a time frame and a law. Exactly. The Sabbat is the only commandment that has a time on it. All the rest of the commandments is don't do this. Never. Don't do this. Never. And the Sabbath can only be kept one time a week. Exactly. Let's check out a little bit of history. I'm going to read this history. And you go ahead and expound for the people. This is a quote. It says, Why does the Christian world keep Sunday? Sunday, so Sunday, so called because this day was anciently dedicated to the sun and its worship. Webster's International Dictionary, the 19th edition. So right here, you see exactly they asking a question, where does this stuff come from? Well, we can go right back into the scriptures and show you that they were sun worshiping. In fact, let's get that right quick. Okay. Let's get Ezekiel. Hey, yep, Ezekiel 8, I think it's uh, 16. Right. Showing you that sun worship or by all worship is ancient as they come, okay? <clears throat> Ezekiel 8 and 16. And he brought me into the inner court of Yahuwah's house, and behold. So they're at the quote-unquote church, right? Mm -hmm. Read on. And behold, at the door of the temple of Yahuwah, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men. About twenty-five men, read. With their backs toward the temple of Yahuwah. So they turned their back on the Most High's temple, read. And their faces toward the east. Toward the east, so we know it's early in the morning, read. And they worship the sun. Worship the who? They worship the sun. They worship the sun. They worship the ball of fire in the sky. Read. Toward the east. Toward the east. So they're showing you right there, they were sun worshiping. Exactly. So show you that our people have been getting caught up in sun worship for many, many centuries now. Okay. Let's read another quotation. Sunday, or day soles of the Roman calendar, the day of the sun. The first day of the week. This is from Shaft Herza Encyclopedia. It shows you what the first day of the week was and why, and what's the real Roman name of it. <clears throat> Another quotation. Sunday was given by the heathens to the first day of the week because it was the day on which they worshipped the sun. Given by who, though? By the heathens. It was given by the heathens. Jeremiah 10 tells us, go not into the ways of who? Of the heathens. Of the heathens. So the heathens came up with this. Sunday garbage. Read. This is uh, from John Eady, a Bible encyclopedia, page 561. Let's get some more. <clears throat> Check out what these Romans said. Go read, read Daniel 7 to 25 again. Daniel 7, 25. Mm -hmm. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hands until a time and times and the dividing of times. You see that? So they're going to speak what? Great words against the Most High. And what is the Shabbat for the children of Israel? It's the mark. It's a mark. Check this out. Quote, Sunday is our mark of authority. 
the church is above the Bible. And this transference of Sabbath observance is proof of that fact. Catholic record, September, September the 1st, 1923. Came directly and went against it. And that's why these people think that the Pope is taking the place of Hamasiac on earth. Mm -hmm. Let's get another quote. This is, quote, the Pope's will stands for reason. He can dispense of the law and of wrong make right by correcting and changing laws. <laughs> Pope Nicholas of District 96 quoted in Facts of the Times, page 55 through 56, 1893. Crystal clear. He shall think to change times and laws. Mm -hmm. Their own records show you that they did exactly what this scripture is talking about. Right. But here's the key. In the 16th century under Martin Luther, before all Christians were Roman Catholic or Orthodox, everything came from out of the Roman Catholic or Universal Church. In the 16th century under Martin Luther is what gave birth to what we know today as the Protestant movement. And they claim through Martin Luther's 95 Theses that, oh, we don't follow Mother Rome no more and all this other madness. But the Romans said, you know what, y'all still holding on to all everything that we teach. Now, let's see some of the quotations from these Protestants. <clears throat> this is from the Lutheran sect of Christianity. Quote, the observance of the Lord's Day Sunday is founded not on any command of God, but on the authority of the church. The <laughs> authority of who? The authority of the church. The Augsburg Confession and Catholic Sabbath Manual, Part 2, Section 10. Now this is from the Presbyterian section of Christianity. Quote, a change of the day to be observed from the last day of the week to the first. There is no record, no express command authorizing this change. N. L. Rice the Christian Sabbath, page 60. Methodists, quote, take the matter of Sunday. There is no pastor telling Christians to keep that day or to transfer the Jewish Sabbath to that day. H.F. Raw, Christian Advocate, July 2nd, 1942. As you can see in all sects of this stuff, they know the truth and will put it in their records. But if you want to hide something from us, Put it in a book. Exactly. Exactly. Let's get one of the ones that our people is famous for dealing with. And that's the Baptist. Quote, There was and is a commandment to keep holy the Sabbath day, but that Sabbath day was not Sunday. There is no scriptural evidence of the change of the Sabbath institution from the Sabbath, seventh day to the first day of the week. Dr. Edward T. Hiscox author of the Baptist Manual, New York Ministers Conference, November 13th, 1893. So no, no, no matter how much you look, search, and dig, you will not find any evidence that you can switch the day over, especially not in the scriptures themselves. Exactly, but let's get one more scripture to show you why we never learned this truth. Let's go to Ezekiel 22 and the 25th verse. We have these Romans admit, yes, this is the mark of our authority. We run this. We're over the Bible. And then we had the Protestants who come from out of their mother Rome basically state the same thing. This is why, according to Scripture, you don't know these things. Um, let's get right to it. Go right to 26. Ezekiel 22 and 26. Ezekiel 22 and 26, mm -hmm. her priests have violated my law. Now, this is talking about ancient Israel, but this same spirit that led our foreparents back then to violate has found its way into this religious system so that it can engulf us. Read on. Her priests have violated my law. Uh -huh. And then what do Christians teach about the law? That it's done away with. Mm -hmm. And ye have profaned my cadets things. Yeah, and they have profaned the cadets things of the Most High. You, we, most of us don't even know the true name of the Heavenly Father. Completely profane. <laughs> Read. They have put no difference between the cadets 
and the profane. Now guess what? Sun 